Hello, everyone. My name is Mrs. James, and I am the lead counselor here at Plano Senior High School. On behalf of the entire counseling department, I am so happy to welcome you to the new school year. Today, we are going to talk about a program that all students have access to called School Links. And what I would love for you to do right now is follow along with me as I go through what this program is and what the features are that can help you as you navigate these last two years of high school. So what we're going to do is make our way to the web desk. Now, if you don't have your Chromebook yet, you can do this on your phone. There will be some features in School Links that don't work as well on your phone, but you can access it from your phone just like you can from your Chromebook or from your device. So when you open up your device, you are going to go to the web desk and log in as you would to access any of your other learning features. After you log in, you should see a screen that looks sort of like this with all the different tiles for all of the apps that you will be using throughout the school year. The one that we are going to focus on today is the green app titled School Links. It looks like an S that is chains linked together. It's in the center for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And when you do, it's going to take you into the School Links app. Now, if it is the first time that you have logged into School Links, if you did not ever really use it uh, last year as an 11th grader or last year as a 10th grader, the first time you log into School Links, it's going to take you through something called the onboarding activity. This only takes three to five minutes, and it's going to ask you a variety of questions that are designed to get an idea of your career and educational interests. So if when you log in, you start to see those questions, go ahead and answer them. You do have an opportunity to go back and redo this activity. So if you answer them in a way that later on you think I didn't answer those in the best way, that's okay. You have the opportunity to go back and redo that activity, but you do need to complete it in order to access school links. But for most of you, when you log in, because you did use this last year in either 10th or 11th grade, you will log in and go immediately to the dashboard. When you log into the dashboard, you should see your own name in the top right corner. There'll be a green border around everything and on the left corner will be the menu. So let's just talk a little bit about what School Links is and what you can expect this program to be able to do. We've provided this for all of our students so that you have a one-stop place to organize all of your college and career goals, your lists, your ideas, all of that is going to go in one place. So far, every year that you've gone through school, you progressed and everyone's gone to the same place when they have moved up to the next level. You went from elementary to middle, and then you went from middle to your 910 campus, and now you're all here with us at Plano Senior. But going forward, you guys could go off in hundreds of different directions. And so this program is really going to help you both to determine what it is that you want to do, where you want to go, and then during your senior year, you'll actually use this as part of the college application process. So if you are a current junior, there are some features that will be available to you, but then for seniors, there's a few extra features that will open up that will allow you to use school links as an integral part of the college admissions. So let's take a look. Again, please follow along as I'm going through this. Um, it's going to really help you get a feel for this program. And if you're familiar with it now, when it comes time to make use of it throughout the year, you'll already know how to get in and what to do. So let's start with just a brief look at what features that we have here in School Link. So on that menu, that's on the left. We start off with home. That's the dashboard. That's what we're looking at now. Sometimes there will be things on a to-do list. There's nothing yet, but sometimes there will be. Under school events, if we have any colleges that are visiting our campus, which happens quite a bit, those will get listed here. 
There may be a reminder that um, that me or your counselor put in here for you so that you remember to do certain things in this process throughout the year. So those will be here in these spots. We're going to move over to the menu on the left and the little apple that says school. You can click on that. Now, if you're on your phone, then you've got three lines at the very top. And when you click that, that's how you see the drop down menu. Again, there will be some features that you can't access on your phone, but you'll be able to fill up, you will be able to follow along for a lot of this. So let's start with this school tab. This one is all about you as a high school student, your grades, your test scores, your classes, all of that. I'm gonna start by going to scores and performance. If you have taken the ACT or the SAT, those are those two big college entrance exams, and you listed Plano Senior High as your high school, then we receive your scores, and those scores are listed here. Likewise, if you took any AP tests, then your AP scores would be listed. The scores from this summer aren't there yet, but they will be. So if you're not seeing your scores from this most recent test, that's okay, they're coming. But if you took any tests in a previous year, those will be listed here. Those other scores are coming. If you've taken the ACT or the SAT and you listed us as your school, those scores are here also. But keep in mind, they're not automatic. It does take a little bit for the scores to load. But this is a great way for you to be able to see exactly what your test scores are like. All juniors will take an, a PSAT in October. And then the actual real send it to colleges SAT, you're going to do in March. If you're a current senior, then you had the opportunity to take the SAT last March, and that score should be here for you to see. If you want to take any of these tests again, there are links for registering to take them, and you can get more information from the counseling office as well. So the next thing we're going to look at under that schools tab is the course catalog. And I'm just gonna briefly take a look at this. If you are a current junior, we will be using school links this year as part of the process of choosing your classes for senior year. So you'll be coming back and taking a look at the course catalog as well as the course planner section. We're not going to take, we're not going to do anything with those for now, but later on we will be coming back to those. For seniors, you're all done picking classes in high school. Now the next one I do want to look at is the records request. So let's click that. This is where you can see your actual transcript. So your transcript is the record of all of the grades that you have earned in high school, starting from ninth grade all the way up until now. And for some of you, you even earned some high school grades back in middle school. Those are all on your transcript. To see your transcript, all you have to do is click where it says download unofficial transcript. It'll ask you if that's what you want to do. You'll hit download and then you will have a copy. This is considered an unofficial transcript. You cannot send your transcript to colleges and universities yourself. It has to come from us. So this copy is for your reference. What's great about this copy is if you want to review what credits you've earned to make sure you're on track for graduation, you can do that. If you want to, if you're completing a college application that requires you to enter your grades yourself, it's often referred to as self-reporting, schools like Texas A&M uh, require this, then you can come to school links and look at your transcript and see what classes you took and what grades you earned. Now there is the option here to send official transcripts if you need to send it to a non-college institution. If you're applying for a scholarship, if you need a transcript for NCAA sports eligibility, you can click and send that here. For seniors, there's another place where you will go to actually send your transcripts to colleges that you're applying to. For juniors, you're not quite ready to send those grades yet. You're still working on that transcript um, throughout this junior year. But for seniors, I will show you where you need to go to send your transcripts. Okay. There are some other things in the school section. We're not going to look at absolutely everything. I really just want to give you an overview today and then you'll have some time to continue to play around and look at the features. 
So next we're gonna go to activities. And in the activity section, we'll start with the goals. So in this goal section, you may have some things filled in already. If you did this as part of a activity with your counselors last year, then you may have some goals filled in. You can always go back and change and update those. We realize that what you may have thought in ninth or 10th grade is not what you may think in 11th or 12th grade, and that's okay. So this allows you to choose a possible future overall path. You can choose a career goal by thinking about things like what are your favorite subjects? What are you interested in? Simply what sounds exciting. And you can go through and look at the various careers and choose a career goal. You can choose a college goal. What is your dream school that you would love to get into and love to go to? And then you can even choose a particular major or something you want to train in or learn more about when you graduate high school and begin your career. Below that, you have the opportunity to do some even more detailed goal setting by creating what's called a SMART goal. This is excellent for students who want to improve themselves in more of a short term. So perhaps this semester, you have a goal for yourself. You can come here, write down that goal, come up with a plan, and then it allows you to hold yourself accountable as to meeting that goal. So next, under activities, you can click on assessments. And this is where you see a variety of quizzes and activities that really help you to explore and learn about yourself. The one that you did initially when you logged into School Links is the Find Your Path Assessment. And so that one is done, but you can redo it if you would like, as I said at the beginning. But there are some others as well. You may have done them and want to do them again. You can do them and take a look at what your results were. But this tells you this is what you can do to really start to get a feel for your learning style. Um, think about career options. What are my top skills? You can come into the assessment section to take some quizzes regarding that. And then lastly, what we're going to look at today under activities is learning plan. So if you click on learning, then this is where you really can get into your possible career options. So this is going to give you some assessments that you can do, some questions that you'll answer. And they really are great like self-exploratory -ex questions that can help you figure out what career clusters are gonna be the best match for you based on your interests and your skills and all of that. And there's a bunch of things here that you can do depending on what interests you. For some of our students, they're more interested in attending a two-year school after high school. There's planning tools for that. Maybe you know you want to go to a four-year school, but you're really not sure what that's going to look like. Okay, we got some options for that. There is military planning. If you um, want to just look straight at careers and employability skills, you can do that as well. So there's lots here that you can explore as you are looking at and determining what it is you would like to do when you leave Plano Senior High School. I'm going to skip the colleges section just for a second and go to careers to continue that conversation. Under the Career Center, this allows you to dig even deeper and learning about not only what careers interest you, but what kind of job av availability is out there. This information is taken from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. It is a government agency that focuses on information about jobs and job growth. You can click on your state or a state you might be interested in and take a look at what are the most in-demand jobs in that particular state. You can look at it based on educational level, so perhaps you are interested in a bachelor's degree, that's that four-year degree, that would be good. You can also click on associate's degree. This is a two-year college degree, and you'll get an idea of what kind of jobs are available, what are the top jobs with for that level of education. So it's just a great way to see some information, or you can search for a particular career. If you know that you're interested in engineering, you can type that in and then you can start to 
see all of the different options, and you can click on that and get even more information about what that career could be like. Things like median salary, possible job growth, um, minimum education, which is the base that you would need to enter versus um, what's required, just a lot of stuff. You can even see videos on people who are in these careers and what they do. And if you really like it, you can add it to your favors list. Okay, so we've seen a lot already. Now I do want to go ahead and go to that colleges tab because for most of our students, this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time when you are in school links. And I do want to preface this by saying when you hear me or any counselor talk about the word college, we are talking about any education that you pursue after you leave high school. So if you know that you want to become a doctor, then you're going to need to get a bachelor's degree and then go to medical school. You're going to have to get an education after high school. You'll need to go to college. If you want to become a electrician, you're going to have to get some certification after high school. You may not be going to school as long as someone else, but you will have to apply and enroll in school. And so all of these features are going to apply to you as well. If you want to study automotive uh, mechanical trades or careers, you're going to need to get training and certification. You'll need to enroll in school and school links can help. If you wanna be a teacher, you're going to need to uh, pursue at least a bachelor's degree, and so I just want everyone to understand when I say college, I'm not just talking about the option of going away to a four-year university and living on campus. I'm truly talking about any education that you pursue after you leave high school. And that is going to require you to enroll and apply and go through these steps in the process. So let's dive into that college part. Now, if you are a junior, when you click on colleges, you see what I have on my screen. However, if you are a senior, you have a few other things that are open to you as well. The college application and the enrollment decision options are available to our seniors. For juniors, that isn't available yet, but it is coming. Everything else we can both look at together. So let's start with the school search function under colleges. Okay, so when it loads up, you're going to see kind of a general school search. I think for a lot of us, it's gonna to default to Texas institutions, but we can change all of that. This allows you to search and get information and then make a list of your own for thousands of colleges and universities and trade schools and community colleges, junior colleges, career academies across the country. If you have a particular school that you know you're interested in, um, you can search for that school by name. Maybe you know that you want to pursue um, cosmetology. Ogle is a popular one for that. We have students who attend the Arlington campus for Ogle School of Hair and Design. Or perhaps there's a school that you know you wanna look at. So uh, it's on the other side of the country. Maybe you're super interested in the University of Rochester. You know, you can type that in and you'll be able to find that school on the list. So in some cases, you can just type in the name of the school and go directly to that school's information. But if you're not sure what schools you want to look at, then you can use that school search function to find your particular school. And so that's what we are going to do is take a look at the school search function. Under school search, you can look at things like campus, you can look at the location. Am I interested more in a city or urban area? Um, do I want kind of a country, small town vibe? Maybe that doesn't matter to you and you don't select that at all. The school size may be of importance to you. You're, you guys are used to going to big schools, so maybe you want to continue with that, or maybe you want to do the opposite and attend a smaller institution. You can look at things like admission requirements. What kind of GPA, ACT, SAT scores does that school uh, require? Degree type. Are you interested in pursuing a bachelor's degree? That's that standard four-year degree. Are you more interested in an associate's? That's a two-year degree. 
or a certificate in order to train for a particular career that does not require you to be in school two or four years. So a lot of certificate programs can be anywhere from six months to just at two years. So it gives you lots of options, things like, you know, sports or any other parts of campus life that you're interested in. From there, you'll come up with your list. So I've got a list of Texas schools. I'm going to look at bachelor's degree. I have public and private. And remember that a public institution is one that is partially state funded. So your tuition is going to be a little lower versus private institutions where the student covers all of the educational costs. So I've got public and private, bachelor's degree, Texas. And I've got a whole host of schools that I could take a look at. If I wanted to narrow it down and start to look at majors and all of that, I absolutely could. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a popular school amongst our students, and that is UT Dallas. Once you select the school, you give it a moment to load up. This is going to allow you to see lots of info about that school. There are photos. This one even has virtual tour features of the UT Dallas campus. You can get an overview of the school, things like what's the acceptance rate, the graduation rate, where does it rank in terms of other universities. So UT Dallas is number 136 in the nation. That's, a, that's very good, saying that there are thousands and thousands of schools in the nation. You can see how many students attend UT Dallas. It's quite a bit. It's a, it is a large suburban institution. There are videos from current students, um, things like average temperature. Of course, you guys know what that is. The student body makeup, the faculty, what programs they have, tons of information that you can get from this. The athletic programs that are offered, student life, what kind of organizations could a student join if they were there. You can go further and start to look at cost of attendance and even things like what type of test scores on average do students have when they are admitted to this particular school. And then what I think is the best part under the application section, this is where you're going to see what is it that I need to apply. Now for seniors, this is the part that you're really looking at. If this is a school that is of interest to you, when and how do I need to apply? So this school accepts both the Common App and Apply Texas. We'll talk about what that means in a little bit. Its application deadline, the priority deadline is December 1st of 2023. So if you're a senior and you're interested in UT Dallas and you wanna get priority admission, which gives you first dibs on scholarships, on things like being able to register for classes, on choosing your dorm room, you will want to apply by December 1st. However, they will accept applications all the way through May 1st of your senior year. So they have a long application window, but if you wanna get the best chances, you'll apply by December 1st. So if this is a school that you know you're interested in, you can select the favorite button and now it's on your list. You could even give more details about why this is a favorite and that'll help school links know which schools to suggest to you. So this is another thing that I recommend you spend some time doing is going through the list of schools that are here and determining what schools do you want to put on your list. Um, a, another popular one for our students is Collin College. We have a lot of students who attend um, Collin County College after they leave Plano Senior High. And so you can add this school to your list as well. And having it on your list means that if you do decide to attend Collin after you graduate here, then we will know to send Collin College your records and such. Same thing, you're gonna see all the same information about Collin College that you would have seen about the other schools to help you decide if this is the best fit for you. Okay, we've looked at a lot so far. And I do want to give you guys some time to really dig into the features and to explore. As you are making your list of schools, those will be saved under where it says favorites and lists. 
So if you select favorites and lists right now, I just have the one UT Dallas. That's what I put on my list, but you can have as many as you want on this particular list. And both juniors and seniors can make this list. Seniors, though, will get one more step where they are able to, and I'm going to switch real quick to a senior account so that I can show you what that looks like. But seniors will have the ability to also add student, add schools to their college application list. And that is when we will go ahead and send transcripts and you can keep track of all of the application steps. <clears throat> so we're gonna give it a minute and now we've switched to a senior student. So the difference is when I click on college, now I have more things that are available to me. So now I am gonna click on college applications. And this is where it's going to walk me through a bunch of processes in order to track my application and request important documents like transcripts, and recommendation letters from teachers and counselors and such. I have a whole other video that goes over this in a lot of detail. So I'm not gonna spend time on this part right now, but if you are a senior, this feature is open to you and you can go ahead and start this right now. We have some students who've already requested transcripts be sent to the colleges that they are applying to. Okay. So let's see if we can go back. Um, so we've looked at we've looked at quite a bit here in school links. And what I would like to encourage you to do is to take some time to explore on your own. Some things that you can do is go into activities and look at those goals and maybe set up some goals or even add a SMART goal, something that you wanna work on this semester here at Plano Senior. You can take a look at the assessments if you would like and do some of these personality quizzes to help you narrow down what it is that you would like to do or even go deeper into the learning plan that really helps you connect your skills and abilities to careers or to colleges. You could go through the Career Center and start to favorite and save some potential careers. But most importantly, I think that using the time to start looking at the school search and make a list and save those schools you wanna look at, especially if you are a senior, so that you can see what are those admission requirements? What are those deadlines? Fall is college application season. So if you are a senior and you're wondering, when do I apply for colleges? You, this is when we start, it's right now. Your counselors will be connecting with you guys and meeting with you to share even more information about all of these different things. But I wanted to use this time to introduce you to some of the features that this program has to help you guys out. On our website, if you just go to the Plano Senior High website and you click on counseling, you will find the hub for where, how you can contact your counselor, as well as a bunch of information to help you as you are applying to college. Um, we've got some handouts, some presentations. Remember I said that if you're a senior and you wanna know exactly how to do your college applications, I got a video right here that goes over that. In addition to that, there's even more about financial aid, about how to visit colleges. We got a lot of information for you. And once a month, we publish a newsletter. And these are our newsletters from last year. So we're going to start all over again. And I highly encourage you to take a look and read that newsletter because we're going to share lots of information about this process. Again, I'm so happy to welcome you guys to Plano Senior High on behalf of the counseling department. We are here to help make sure that these last two years of high school set you up on the path for success in college and beyond. Have a great day, guys.